on the ice tonight, and along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski, ready to call all the action. International showdown here tonight. Does the environment change when you're playing nationally as opposed to a club? 100% it does, because it's a little bit different. You're not usually with regular teammates, so everything feels a little bit different, but you are playing for your country. set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dot. Well, the height for this one has been off the hook. Puck is dropped. Let's see if this one actually lives up to it. Radulov's got the puck along the wing. Here's an odd man rush. Beats the goalie, but can't beat the post. Moves. Carries it in. Moves the puck along the half wall. Puts it on net. He scores! When the goaltender gets into the butterfly, he's just trying to take away as much of the net as he can. He's got lots covered, not enough as he gets beaten for a tally. Switzerland's got the game's first goal here at the opening frame. Pretty tightly played game so far. Not a lot of chances, not a lot of errors on either team, but now we got one. Maybe the game will open up. Here's a short pass to Haas. Denies him on the play. Team Rush has got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed. He scores! They didn't sit back after getting that first one. They pile a back-to-back -back goal on here. Now coaches talk about getting to the front of the net, make it difficult on the goalie, take his eyes away. Man, he only could see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. Team Switzerland's boasting a comfortable 2-0 lead. Ray, what are you seeing down at ice level? Domination, James. They've got the puck the whole time. Eventually, you're going to crack the other goalie, and they have a second time. Number 52. Shuts him down. Kucherov's got it in the offensive zone. Blocked in traffic. Stopped by the goaltender. There's the horn ending the period. I think the goaltender's breathing a huge sigh of relief as the clock turned out to be his best friend. Everything old is new again. If you wear your vintage jersey to our next Still game, lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. He looks like he's got a step, and then the puck just trickles off his stick. Now it... Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. Pretty cut and dry with a tripping call here. Yeah, but James, every player argues the tripping call because you feel like your stick was in the right place and the other guy stepped on it. Never your fault. And it looked like there was some late moment lobbying there and it didn't yeah, work. it doesn't work. No, none. Takes it across the blue line. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Oh, he looked like he was in a good spot there. He bobbled the puck. Now he's got to find it. He scores! That's three ring. Yeah, just to have it taken their foot off the gas pedal at all here. Once they got that first one, they kept pushing away. Now they've got three. He's playing the percentages. Drops into the butterfly, but it doesn't help him. He gets beat pretty cleanly. Switzerland's been dominant tonight as they make their way back to center. They have scored almost at will, in particular here in this second period. Taken by Orlov, and that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. 11 minutes, 25 seconds. 
Tripping is the call. Did he sell or is that the right one in your no, mind? I think it's the right one. He looks like he's picking up speed and the stick gets into his feet. With the steal. Moved out in front. Being stopped by the keeper. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stop before the puck is cleared away. Here's a short pass to Niederreiter. Reaches out and pokes it away. Quick pass to Kuznetsov. Here they are on the attack. Here's the pass. Scores! Is that momentum screaming now? Well, he's whispering. If they can get another one, he'll start to scream here. Really good work in the offensive zone here as the shooter keeps moving around till he finds the open spot. In this case, it's gold. He's in the high slot and he hammers it home. Rush is answered back here in the late stages of the second. They have to hope this goal signifies the point in the game where it turns. They haven't been very good up until this point. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Nears the blue line and looks to set up at the point. Scores! The captain comes through! Wow, he got that thing away so quickly. Waited for the pass, timed it perfectly, and then beats the goaltender. Team Rush has got one back late in the second. How does that change things now, Ray? From their bench, it seems like they're pretty excited. They jumped up, they're loud, they're ready to go as they try to find the equalizer. Great defensive effort with the strip. And that'll do it for period number two. Lots of action at both ends of the ice so far through 40 minutes. We've got a 3-2 game. Fans, tonight the home team royal is dropping $50 gift certificates to Delmans. Proud sponsor of tonight's game. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. And now he angles it across to Yossi. With possession along the wall. Puts it up front. Snapper from the slot. It's in the back of the net. He scores! I'm not sure how that got into the net. That thing's bouncing all over the place. Not even really a shot. But he'll take it. It's in the net now. Switzerland's goal has now extended their lead to two here early in the third. You couldn't ask for a better start in the third here. This is the way you draw it up. This is what you talk about between periods. Rarely does it come out and your team is as effective as they were. Now a quick pass to Fiala. There's the collision. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Here's the official call. And he's off to the box for two for tripping. Not much of an argument there. A stick between the player's feet. Gets the puck back onto a stick. Into the offensive zone. Here's a shot. He scores! That's a short-handed marker. James, they took advantage of one little crease, and they were able to race up the ice, get themselves a short-handed marker here. He sells the low shot, makes a move, and then goes right into the top of the net. The goalie is totally pulled out of position. Russia's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. That's a solid hit. Puck grab. He's got a little jump. All alone. Oh, what a save. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Feeds the puck across to Kucherov. 
Malkin's got the puck. Trailing in this one. They have pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. Comes up with the stop. Quick pass across to Dodanov. Over the line they come. Towards the empty net. Whoa. And he scores the shit ending. That should wrap it up. Pretty comfortable now with that empty netter. Now that empty netter should wrap this up here. We're in the last little bit of the third period. That should be enough. Switzerland's added to their lead with the empty netter. And Ray, that's pretty much all she wrote, I would say. Well, you grind away to get the lead through this much of the game and they pull the goalie, they're going to pressure you. You put it away with an easy one into the empty net. With the stop. Right up the gut, here they go. Feeds the puck to Panarin. And sends it just out of reach. Net is empty, the extra attacker is now out on the ice. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. He scores! Vladimir Tarasenko! Oh, with the goalie crowding over on the bench now, they finally punch through. Good work to get to the puck, retrieve it, and finally they put it into the net. Team Russia's running out of time. They need to find a goal here quickly as they trail late in the third. Team Russia goal. Final horn sounds, and we are all done with this one. Pretty good hockey game, and I guess they can say they did some good things, like they had a better face-off percentage, but not enough, James. Is this sometimes the case, though, the numbers lie? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, great, you won the face-offs, you didn't score enough. In the meantime and in between time, he's Ray, I'm James, good night.